Right. So pandas eat the young, fresh bamboo shoots. So they're actually counterproductive in the environments that they're found. Whereas vultures are, as I've explained, essential in the environments that they're found. Other animals die out because there are no vultures. So who needs that money, that conservation money, that little bit more? Well, public perception dictates that the one who is actually more useless actually ends up getting all the public funding. <laughs> right, we're going to meet... <laughs> We're going to meet Gandalf up a wee bit closer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scuffing. This is quite quick, very energy efficient. And she needs to have that quickness about her. Because oh, she has to compete oh, with other scavengers, like wolves, eh, sorry, not wolves, eh, hyenas and jackals, which might eat her if she gets in the way. Okay. <laughs> she has this kind of hopping, skipping at her. Okay, and when she's potting it all at a leisurely pace, she's got a wee kind of hard man swagger to her. It's equally comical. Come on in, I'm going to show off your hard man swagger. Swagger! Come on, give us a wee swagger. Swagger! Oh, no! Oh, Right guys, now, have a look at the length of the neck, that's for reaching all the favourite juicy bits first, it's a bit like having the longest arm at a buffy team, it gets your favourite bits first, also look at her neck, it's not completely bald, she has a layer of kind of soft fuzzy feathers all the way across her neck, and this is all about keeping warm at night, and also reflecting the heat of the sun, away from her skin, preventing her from getting sunburned. There we go. Sorry? I don't think she's not at all. She's absolutely certainly nature didn't build this bird to be a supermodel. But they were built to be a very specific purpose. A purpose they're essential for. Right Gandalf, we're just about run out of food for you now. So we're gonna get rid of you. Right, come on in. Right, come on in. Right, guys, give Gandalf a great big round of applause. Come on.